All right, Lee, you know what we're going to be watching today? Tell me what we're going to be watching today. Your favorite genre, Creature yeah, Features, Ooh. Razorback. Oh, what? Have you not heard of this what one? Is a, so Razorback is, is a, is a, is a, is a pig. It's like a hey, wild boar. A boar. Um, in Australia, these sons of bitches can really wreak some havoc, and this one is much larger than your average. How big are we talking? I believe it's like <laughs> like half an elephant, like a rhino or something. Okay. Like, like pretty fucking big. I've not seen this one myself. I've been actually waiting. Is to this watch like it a legendary you. thing for this you? One, this one's a classic. I, I had been looking for this one for a while. Let's in, be in clear. The, uh, in the racks you, and stuff. You are the creature feature, modern, even, not only nostalgic, but modern fan. Yeah, right. I like all creature features. And this is on the uh, this, this, is, this this is, one this is, is anticipate because this is an older one, right? Yeah, I've I've only I've seen a trailer for this movie. Oh, uh, and that's what set me on this hunt. While I say hunt, I this is not hard to find. You could mm -hmm. go on on like Amazon right now and buy this movie. Uh, I am a cheap bastard, and I don't like paying more than two dollars for mm. anything. And uh, so I, I look at flea markets. I like it's also part of the fun is the hunt. I have so many movies at my disposal. I don't, I don't need any movie at any moment. So I, I can wait until I, uh, until I find it for the price I'm looking to get it for. You enjoy the hunt enough. Though. I do. It's and an uh, this one I've been waiting to watch too for a while because I've had this one for I think like six months or more Ooh. now. Been waiting. It feels fresh though still. Yeah, yeah this, I got this one. It was wrapped new. Yes, it looks like it was yeah. sealed. Yes. Yeah. No. This is 1984 though? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like from the shot on the back, I'm seeing like a practical tusky, hairy I believe it's thing. all practical. Well, yeah. it's not going to be CG, CG no, yeah. but yeah, like I'm seeing like, you see the thing. Like, but I, what I mean is, yeah, it's thing. not like yeah. you're going to see a camera and in front of the camera is two tusks and it's going to be like, like Tusco vision. Although. I, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like you see some cool shit in this. Um, let me just let me jump into the back here because yeah. you came into this with no preconceived notions. What what I find funny is in my first scan I can see them say it's rhino sized. <laughs> oh, um, it's no cute koala munching eucalyptus leaves. It's a rhino sized denizen of the outback that can turn you into a blood feast faster than the time it takes to whip up a BLT. <laughs> That's a very strange sentence. That's so specific. Out of a wasteland of beauty and death comes Razorback, tensely directed by Russell uh, McLean. He's the guy that did Highlander. What? Um, uh, I, I also butchered how you pronounce his last name. And ominously oh. shot by Dean Semler. Uh, he did Mad Max's cinematography. Um, he also did Dance with Wolves. Are you okay? That's on. That's on the box. Yeah. Got it. I'm like, how do you know these things? I'm a damn scientist. He's amazing. <laughs> Gregory Harrison plays a naive American arriving down under to look for his missing wife. Un unequipped for the rough landscape and unprepared for the horrors lurking within, he's soon battling to survive. Amid the hanging carcasses of the pet pack canary, he confronts the monstrous creature while a conveyor belt inches man and beast towards razor sharp blades that will make pet food out of one or both. That's, I'm not entirely sure what all those words that's so mean. so specific. That's but this so, is going to be interesting. It's such a weird beat poetry version of like predicting the whole plot of a movie yeah. or something like that. Uh, I'm, sli I'm slightly less excited now that I've read that. A nifty little shocker, a true delight for any horror film fancier. Uh, that, that's from Los Angeles Times. So Russell Mulcahy also directed Resident Evil Extinction. Oh, cool. And that's like the only one, I think. <laughs> Whatever. Well, weren't all um, the rest of them done by uh, what's his, uh, Wes Anderson? Yeah. No. No, what? <laughs> Paul W.S. Anderson? Yeah, that sounds more like it. That's not it either. I tricked you. That sounds more like it, though. <laughs> Wes Anderson didn't do It does do sound else. more like it, yeah. Um, Anthony Anderson. <laughs> Directed Resident Evil. Uh, no, like the time period alone and just this whole thing, that's a real time period de like description, honestly, where it's like, yeah. you'll, you'll spill, you'll chill, you'll do all the... It's this weird like, where you're like, Even what if are you we cut, doing? like, like... A yeah. little earlier, like you went like 10 years earlier than this, it would yeah. be like, just let me tell you everything that happens in yeah, the movie. Yeah, exactly. Like we've kind of drifted away from that where it's like, yeah. hey, get ready for adventure with this. And now it's yes. like, and at the end, he's in, a, he's in a place with a big saw. And you're like, wait, what, why, why are we doing or all this? Or is that a metaphor? I don't, uh, maybe. Maybe maybe the boar Some of the other, is in all I of this. Now I already forgot. I just read it. But one of those sentences was like, what the hell does that mean? Well, like, like, like fast as you can whip up a BLT. Like, yeah. that's a very specific reference. I was holding the box and, and, and looking at, you know, at the back. And I'm like, I'm dehydrated. I'm not going to be able to read this right. It's like, the sentences are weird. He, he, you know, he'll do fine. <laughs> and then you were like, what am I doing here? Like. It's very interesting. It doesn't play out like a typical back. No, uh, it's weird, yeah. But I think this movie's going to be really awesome because, like, this no, is on. No, yeah. This is on like a lot of people's top ten list for like best creature feature movies. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Do you know if it, if it's is it set in Australia and filmed in Australia? Yeah. Is that the idea? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. 
Yeah, I think even that can give it a little bit of like a distance, little Crocodile Dundee type thing. Like I think there's like a lot of yeah. cool practical effects in this movie. Like yeah. just from little things I've gleamed off of like hearing people talk. So I'm, nice. I'm very much excited to, uh, to check this guy out. Um, I don't recognize any of the people, but that's probably I think uh, I think some people this was like their only thing. Like, yeah, right. Maybe they're but, uh, Australian actors too. Certainly like possible. That. People that just get, you know, local people. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to expand my knowledge of this particular genre, so I feel like get another high point in there so I can shut on every I, other movie well, uh, yes. <laughs> comparing it to this will be I, a I think, uh, nice move. I think yeah. this one will be something really, like, like yeah. it'll just be like, oh, that's a good movie, right. happens to be a creature feature. Which is always yeah. what I'm more into than, mm-hmm. uh, than like, well, you have to forgive it all these things because it's a creature, but yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm, right. I'm excited. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, we're definitely going to gonna be checking this one out in a few mementos. I'm um, looking to see what the length of this movie is. I don't see it. Do you see it listed on there? <laughs> Three hours long. Oh, 95 minutes. All right, guys. So we'll see you in an hour and a half. All right, guys. Here we're going to talk about Razorback from uh, 1984. Yeah. A uh, old school creature feature. Is it a creature feature? It's a movie featuring a creature. It features a creature <laughs> for, for part of it. Yeah. Th- it. It is used sparingly, and I think that's yeah. because it's a practical effect. Oh yes, and uh, it does look good. It, it is a it is a nice looking yeah, well, effect when you do see it. So like overall, right? We go to Australia. There's uh-huh. a monstrous. A, a razorback is a boar, a, a wild pig. Mm-hmm. Um, things happen. Overall impressions, recommending. What how do you feel? About it, the movie. It's a it's a bit slow by today's I think like horror standards. Okay, I could get but with I that. think I think if you if you're into uh, if you're into like horrors of all types, and I, particularly like you know a creature feature and kind of like a slow burn of practical effects, this is this is something for you. Yeah, I would say uh, for me like less of a recommendation for the effects and for the weird like time period of it. I think it's really cool. But that's really where it lies. Its strength. Is yeah. That, like you're like oh, it's like an '80s movie. So you're like okay, I know a little bit about what I'm getting into yeah. already because. The 80s were a different time for movies. Well, like Australia was a different place too. I feel like sure. this is, there's a, it was hard for me to engage with it and there's parts of it. Like once you get to the end, like you can forget about a lot of what you've been through to get there. Yes. And, there's, and, and, and that's when you know, cool things start to happen. But even so, they made some choices that we'll get into later that mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't love. I think though, if you really liked older movies and practical effects, you, should, you know, it's something to check out. I yeah. wouldn't say it's like, oh, it's a hidden gem, it's 10 out of 10, it's amazing, no, no, you gotta check no, this out. In no way would yeah. I be saying it is this. I, I think it is worth watching. Um, I'd probably give it like a five or six as out of, a, yeah. out of like a 10 rating. Totally. Uh, you know, uh, for your, your creature feature presentation here. Yeah, like, like, <clears throat> like not, not so, not like a bad, like, oh, watch this for research purposes, like, like this is homework, but not mm. so good that it's like, oh, man, I just throw this on every now and then because it's so good. It's, no, not, no. it's not like, oh, my, yeah, no. Agreed. <laughs> okay. But, you know, all right. rhino-sized pig, that's probably going to be all you need to yeah. entice a, a, a demographic here. Exactly. No, if you're, and, like, if, if you're like, hey, I wonder what it was like when they had to build a pig instead of just mm-hmm. programming a pig and having the pig, like, yeah. not look like it's really there. Because this pig is really there. Yeah, it's in every, <laughs> every shot it's in, it it's is there. there. It has to be, right? So, so there we go. All right, so those, um, those are the, the thoughts, the non-spoiler aspect of this show. Uh, check it out if you will. If not, you can hear about what we're going to say about right now, which will be full of spoilers. Yay. All right, so uh, the opening of the movie, uh-huh. like, so we have it, it is a it is a journalist who's flying to Australia to talk about kangaroos being mass slaughtered for dog food. Yeah, she's and, like uh, an animal rights minded journalist, yeah. and you see, well, so like before that though, we get the the prologue, prologue, where uh-huh. like the old man, a boar, like r- runs, oh yeah, yeah, runs through his that. house like like a cartoon character, and like snatches up or like his 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 like. In, Instead of just being dead, it's like missing and like not there or yeah. whatever, right? Um, here, I'm like digging it. I'm like, this movie's weird as fuck. This is awesome. Yeah. And like, he he's on trial in some weird like the kangaroo str- court. Well, <laughs> some weird like the stranger thing where he's in like uh-huh. a weird cell. He's and it's like voiceover of the trial as you're watching him go to te- you know sit in like judgment. But it's like, a nice, what doesn't tight, make sense good. To about this? I'm like, yeah. Okay, child is missing. Was in the grandfather's care. Yeah. Okay, someone's gotta be held accountable. The boar did run through his yeah. house. What do they think he did? Do they think he broke his own leg, uh, yep. destroyed his house, and then like threw his kid as far as he could? <laughs> that is my like note. Is what about the hole in his house? Yeah. So like, does that not speak to that there was something large here? Yeah. 
And so he ends up like not being convicted. I wouldn't yeah. say he's exonerated, but they're like, oh, there's not enough evidence in the case and all that stuff, right? And how That's could a weird be? thing. Well, yes, because it's obvious, uh -huh. right? So whatever. Um, it, you know, that all wraps up very quickly. He's like sleeping outside next to his hovel, mm -hmm. and he wakes up in a cold sweat or a hot sweat because it's Australia, and he's like, um, you know, haunted by the memories of the beast. And yeah. and it, it's pretty clear there. It's like confirmed soon that now he's like the uh, the beast is evil. It must die. He's like he's you know he's yeah, like he's that the Captain guy. Ahab. Yeah, he's like the dude you know, hunting, hunting Razorbacks now. He's like doing his yeah. thing. Yeah. Which he may have already been, like, uh, I think he was already a Razorback hunter because they mentioned something like, like, and you couldn't kill it, blah, blah, blah. It was unkillable. His hide was yeah. too thick and blah, blah, they blah. Okay, yeah. So this is, there's a lot crammed in here. They set up, well, the bristle, the bristleback, a Razorback thing. Like, you can't hit him in the back. You have to hit him from, you know, from underneath. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm sure that'll come into play, I guess. And it kind of, it, uh, it does. Not, not like that's his Achilles heel, though. It's a no, weird, like, thing. No, but it is how uh, the, yes. the first injury occurred. Yeah, is, exactly. You know, ramming it's him one in, like, like a series like, of things. Hawaiian style spear against a tree yeah. method. Or in like the, the edge or whatever. They do the whole thing mm -hmm. where they have to kill a big animal or whatever. Um, this though in the intro is where everything goes nuts for me. Because then we do two years later New York City. And I'm like yeah. excuse me? No a little strange for the I was expecting us to follow uh, you know uh, um, not Charlton Heston uh, Old guy. Sean Connery or whatever uh -huh. the fuck. I expected to follow him, like like whittling spears and setting up traps and slowly building to this crazy thing where he has uh -huh. to, and like the town doesn't believe him and they'll get all these weird dudes in Australia. Well, you had to like fly um, off the success of Crocodile Dundee or whatever and, and do some New York apparently. lady thing. Yes, so, so we have Which a new... Which, like, is, what's strange about that is, is it? though, it's yeah. not even like this New That's York lady thing. She's relatively uh, quickly uh, semi-raped and killed off. Yeah, and then it's left to, to the husband who we met briefly, like you know, making some salad or some so shit. My note is like, um, oh man, that 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 note's very short. I said somewhere that like he's like a modern progressive male. He's like got an apron on, like cooking dinner and all yeah. that stuff. And that's meant to be like a curveball that now, like this is my major problem with the movie. This is full spoilers, so we're not gonna like structure the whole uh -huh. plot out for you. This woman dies. The old man dies. It's left up to the husband like completely. And he like has a weird forced Steven Seagal-esque love interest with her where they don't even kiss with yeah. some hot Australian babe. Yeah, like he kisses it's, her forehead yeah. or, or like her hair they, or something. They like nuzzle or something and like she seems dead and she's like, hey, it's, it's like, that's my major issue with the How movie. How the hell did that even happen? Somehow, the boar, like, tied her <laughs> somehow she falls from the catwalk on perfect timing, like it's a Halloween haunted house. Yeah. And like, <laughs> like, 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 like a skeleton. Drop. And there she is with her fucking, her legs tied by rope hanging upside down. I know, she like got caught in the rigging or some crazy thing like that. The, the husband to me was like the worst character. I hate that it was all yeah. about him. Yeah, and like very true. I don't want it to be predictable. I don't want to say like, oh, every movie's bad uh, unless it does what I would have done. But like, it was such a perfect setup, and I feel like they they, they did it on purpose, right? Because mm -hmm. we have animal rights minded activist like journalist who's like, no, we have to capture it, we have to document it, like science. It, it you know it doesn't deserve to die. And then we have this old man who's like, you're not from around here. It's evil. I've seen what it can do. And and then like this conflict of like her having to like either like accept that right it's like the, now it's, everything it's he's very, saying is not in the movie just yeah so you know, that he's saying that's what should have happened but or that's what you think is gonna that's happen that's where you think it's going and then she dies but, yeah and then and and i was open-minded now the husband shows up and i'm like oh okay so now he's like they'll hire the pig hunter guy and yeah and like they're gonna get together and like do their thing and now he's he's the outsider because she went with like a cameraman and she's traveled before but he has to be like and 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 they're, they're doing the right thing. He gets in the car on like the wrong side. He like and then drives on the wrong side. Yeah, he like pals around with the mutant outback people for a little bit. It's real weird. It's like okay, but then they then he just turns into uh, like um, Eric whoever, like the like you know like B movie action hero Eric guy. <laughs> Eric Roberts. Yeah, he just turns into some random action hero dude. There's nothing special. There's nothing vengeful. There's nothing no, whatever. No, but he wasn't. I was so he, upset. He wasn't your typical action. Like he never. Never were you like, oh, look at him doing these amazing things. He's no. like one-shotting swamp rat. Like, you know, you don't... No. There's nothing like that. He, like, vomits oh, yeah, at the yeah. sight of, like, a kangaroo dying. Yes, yes, yes. He, like, you know, fumbles and does some crap all throughout the way. I don't mean to say that he's competent. I just <laughs> mean to say, like, he's the guy in the role that has to yes. solve the problem. And, like, the, the, the whole camera is going to explode and he has to, like, like... Like, there's so many setups and payoffs. There's, like, a spinning bl blade yes. of death. There's a whole thing. He has to, like, whack the pressure cooker thing to, like, save the... Th there's yeah. all these things. And I'm like, what? 
what? Who are you? What are we doing? What's happening here? I don't know. I was not. No, but like you can't say a lot of like, and like, like you've almost directly said, is that there's so much unexpected things in this movie that don't, a, they don't make, it's not like. There's a whole middle that we have to get into. Yes. Yeah. It's not in, in a sense that you're like, you're like, oh, I didn't see that coming. Like, oh, you totally threw off where I was going. It's mainly like, what the fuck is that yeah. shit? And like, why is that even in the movie? Right. Like, it's not the subverting of the expectations or this idea that like. Well, but it does. Well, it's you, just not, not that's, in a way uh, that you would expect. That's the meme is, yeah, you subverted my expectations because you took away something that might have been good and just either left me with nothing or something bad. Right? Yeah, there's, so there's whatever. weird exploration of the Australian outback in like, yeah. you're like, what is this? Where is this near? Why Yo, is this happening? Okay. So after the failed kangaroo hunt with the Outback Mutants, if any of this interests you, check the movie out. There's all these things. I'm not going to cover every, but there's, there's, a, there's a pretentious, like, I, I was thinking Aboriginal Spirit Walk montage. And, and they didn't do it, but they did it anyway. <laughs> he's, like, yeah. he's like hallucinating skeletons of animals coming out of the sand, and it's like bright white and blue, but and then it's like orange and red. But what's weird is you see them first, <laughs> yes. then you see them come out of the sand. So let's talk about that. Because we're just going to derail everything. Oh, what, is that a cow? Or is that a I pig? don't what know. Was supposed to be? It looked like the uh, the like good guys of the split people from Dark Crystal. <laughs> it looked like okay. those, like, I forget their name, but like the slow herbivore type peoples versus the Skeksis. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, a lot of this movie in like the climactic moments until the end felt like shots were like inserted out of order or like not right uh -huh. and like in a way where I'm like you're not even hiding that you that, that you can't see the boar or the animal or the guy or the wide. It's just like a weird frenetic like like the editing might have been like bad or something where I'm like yeah, was... I don't have a sense of where you are or what you're doing. It, wait, didn't that guy get away? Oh no, no, yeah, he did. Like there's a lot of moments like that where uh -huh. I'm like what is happening? Why 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 are you inserting a shot here of him running again? He's pinned there, I thought. Oh, no, he is pinned there. Like, all this stuff. It was really weird. I, I, I couldn't. I was like, no, it, it was strange. You. Uh, like, the, the guy eventually finds out that these two people had something to do with, the, you know, the death of his wife. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he knows it was the boar that killed them, but knows, like, they were involved in some way. She was only out there and, yeah. like, left for... Tracks them down. Dead. Like, the one guy, he, like, like lets him fall a few hmm. feet down a, a well and then, like, kicks dirt at him. And then, like... Like lets him like go to the bottom. Fall the rest and I'm of like, the way well, down. That guy could just. If, I don't think he's dead. The hole is so small that he yeah. just put his legs out and. Just no, I was gonna say like they make it seem like a death sentence. He doesn't even cut the like cord that he can help climb right back to out, climb yeah. up on or shout and then someone can go hit the button and like you know like winch him back. I out. don't think anyone's finding him, but yeah. Plus, it's so small, like you said. It's such which a small is, hole. Which is scary being dropped down a small hole by a, by, you know, by a man. But yeah. But you he, could, you could like, he, like this yeah. walk out. Like it and was he, not wide. And these are like fit. I, in my notes, I just called all these characters the mutants of the outback yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It has a weirdly Mad Max like vibe. I was thinking Mad Max. Which I'm like, is Mad Max just a documentary? Like, what are we talking about? Yeah. Like, are, it, is this like a weird redneck of the Australia stereotype? The, cause this is a nut whole, this is a whole nother movie. The, like the dude may as well be chugging gasoline and like doing bull, like it's so weirdly like future biker apocalypse Like men. where they keep going to find like the pigs, like the watering hole area where it's just like bones and like yeah. some sort of like machinery thing happening in a building that does, <laughs> I don't know what, but it's running constantly. Yes. Uh, and I'm like, where is this? How far is this from civilization? Right. Uh, it just, it seems like, like such a bizarre thing. At one point he's walking through what looks like the biggest desert in the world. The salt flats. And it's like one second later, he's like back at the house where that girl yeah. lives. I'm like, what the hell? That's For like why. a random TNA shot. That's why that was like a spirit journey sequence. Uh -huh. But it's meant to represent him wandering the outback and eventually finding her place. But yeah, are like the salt flats and like the smoldering hills and like the Mordor, is all that in between wherever he drove to the first day and like her place? Yeah. And then why don't we ever go back there? Why isn't there like boar hunting happening there? This movie was problematic is what I'm no, trying to say. No, it's certainly, there, there are some issues with it. Uh, but like it has some really cool things. Like uh, yeah. you flash back to some like dude's house and and he's like watching TV, and the house just gets pulled gets away. Gets torn away from him. Yeah, the, the, he has a pig trap that traps the largest pig, but what would hold a normal pig does not hold it's a rhino even pig. Close. And it drags his fucking house away while he's He doesn't die. He's just, the, he's just watching TV, so like, and now the TV's like zipping down the way. The TV's still on, yeah. is getting pulled away, and he's sitting there on the couch like, what? And all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what year is this in Australia? I'm like, is, is like, could there be a generator attached to that part of the house? Like, did it take away like, 
Come oh, on, like, like why is like, the TV he still has have... power? Yeah. That has power. Is it battery powered? Like, I know it is for this shot, but uh, what, what am I looking at here? Yeah, like, it was is pretty. It, is, it, is it supposed to be a funny bit? Because it's not a funny movie. No, like, uh, so I was like, I, I, was a uh, confused. I took that to be like a funny insert. Uh-huh. But but there's like two or three shots of that guy watching TV and laughing at stuff yeah, yeah. later and doing Which stuff. Which are all filmed at the same time. Yes, but I don't know why those are inserted there. That's what I mean. Like, I like. I don't think like the editing is bad. I do, I guess. Literally, think well, I think the editing that was is bad, a really expensive, but, good shot. Yeah. But it's weird if that's supposed to be funny to have this very expensive insert shot of like, oh yeah, and this for comedic relief. But it wasn't very funny. But it was cool. It yeah. looked nice. There's a lot of like, oh, we we built a house and we burned it down. Or yeah. We built a house and we oh, destroyed big time. it. Oh, uh, I really wonder about how they how these animal food processing plants work. Because there's just like pigs sitting out. There's no AC in there, like rotting. There's oh, just yeah, bones yeah. on the ground and rotting meat all over. Yeah. I'm like, this would be the most horrendous place to be in. And these guys just like like hang out there. Yeah, so that's what well, we can talk so about. It smell like death. We can talk about that whole thing, right? Like, part, like, like, like the lady reporter dies because she kind of busts this like gross operation that the mutants are like and what is she running a cannery busting, or something. Though? I don't because, know. Because like they do run a, uh, that like. That's all what they do. It's there their are actual pigs job. There, yeah. So I'm like, they are uh, like, what? They are like apparently also killing things that they're not supposed to kill and like grinding them up and putting them in the dog food or like the meat or whatever they're making or uh-huh. something like that. But again, like that shot of her with her camera and the guy like popping out of the window is what is, is so weirdly bad for you know even for this film. It like didn't uh-huh. track or he, make like, sense. He like grabs like the lens hood. It pops off the and lens. She's like, ah, and just leaves it. <laughs> Bye and all that stuff. And then like they don't catch up to her like until night like even just little yeah, things that like that where I'm kind of like, like what are we doing there how far away is she but and we, she did uh, say I'll be back by dusk so like yeah. I guess it was already planning to do this yes. thing and maybe she took a little bit longer than I, she was I, I'm willing to go I, 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 don't, know, I don't know why I'm, I'm harping at that then but that, that's not the issue we follow these mutants around for a while yeah uh-huh. they have like the Mad Max there might as well have been a guy on the helicopter or whatever the hell right uh-huh. and yeah this cannery is like in, uh, in like a legend when uh-huh. they go down to like the blacksmiths and there's like skeletons and fire and weird stuff where like and like even the cave where like the mutants hang out and he's like here's your bunk over here it's nice and soft and all that like like that part is still like this gothic looking cave lair yeah. where like the lost they, boys like, take go the time to stuff a bird and then he just yeah. like shoots it at one point you're like that yeah. would have taken you a long time like <laughs> why did you do that yeah like we're just se- on a lark like oh bing we're setting up that they're so crazy or so whatever the hell and yeah then, they're like, so redneck that they don't give a shit yeah and like I don't even know if that pays off properly for me. If I felt not really. the danger or like the thing, like that should have it just been felt odd. Where I was yeah. like, why is he even there? Like, what is he doing? With yes, this? like why? Why is that section of the movie set up like that? Why does he make friends with them? And then when he like he like finishes off the kangaroo, but they still leave him there. And they yeah. say, I'll be back in five or six hours. And then they come back. But, but like they don't come back because he wanders back well, to the house. Well, they may have come back. He was, he was wandered it's away. It's so, like, what's happening? But it's weird just to, the idea of leaving him in the outback. They left him with no weapon. Yeah. They throw him a blanket. He curls up with a dead kangaroo because it's still warm. The warmth of the, of the corpse. And it's yeah. just such a weird thing where yeah. I'm like, I'm like, there's just so much in Australia that could kill him. Apparently. He, it's not from there. He's He's... You know, a rube. He's an idiot. He doesn't do anything. Yeah. Like I wasn't even clear why they were leaving him there. It seems so strange to me. I, I think it's she because like ruined they, their thing they fucked up this business. So like their plan is that you shoot these kangaroos and you don't yeah. kill them because that way they're fresh. Oh. It's like natural refrigeration. Until it dies, it doesn't start to rot. I see. So like they just leave it there and they're going to take it later. But he finishes it and that fucks up their thing. They're like, oh, now all right then, fuck you. For one kangaroo? Yeah. Well... Human life was worthless in the mutant outback of 1984 in Australia, apparently. Probably still is. I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. It was such a weird... Because, like, going into it, I expected, oh, it'll be, like, Mad Max and weird, but I'm like, that's racist or something. Don't, you know, don't think that. And then we literally get... They're like the trailer park boys. One guy has big Coke bottle glasses, and they're, like, arguing. But that should have felt like Hills Have Eyes or Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where you're like, what are these people capable of? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, at the end, you find out he's capable of running away a little. And like I don't know what's yeah, going they on. Weren't, like, yeah, they weren't. they weren't your tough uh, outback men. Like it never really got to that. He was like crying as dirt got kicked at him. Yeah. And the other one just like you know, died. Even if they were like uh, not like big buff, like dangerous looking guys, they could have been crazy, which they yeah, were. Crazy is always scarier. Yes. So uh, that would have like, been fine. What are you fine. capable of? I have no idea. Are you yeah. gonna eat your own fingers to get power to kill me? Or I don't know. Yes, like something crazy like that. <laughs> but the, so like so much of the movie is dedicated to that. Mm-hmm. That was just like. What are we doing? There's a lot of, like, set up for nothing. 
Yeah. Like, as in it sets up nothing. Uh, you could just cut, like, this movie could have been 30 minutes shorter, and mm. it probably wouldn't have changed much in what the actual movie was. Right. Um, what's weird is those, the, the, the mutants, the, the uh, Australian redneck outback men, uh, they, they think that they are found out that they had something to do with the murder of this lady, when really it's not even a murder, per se. No. Uh, they could be, I guess, assault charges, maybe? Uh, but they think that the old man thinks they killed her, or whatever it is. He has the oh, yeah, they go after him. And they yeah. go after him, and mm. they smash his knees and leave him in the outback. They don't just kill him. Yeah. Because um, I guess it'd be a lot easier to get found out if he just murdered somebody than if, than if they you know, are eaten by boars after their knees got smashed. Uh, either the boars way, only though, eat the pe people that are still struggling? No, it's possible. I, well, I I imagine that like they do leave the bones though, and a bullet or a stab wound could okay. show, and you know the detailed forensic stuff that's yeah. happening. Yeah. From what I understand, the pigs leave very little to the, to the imagination. It's Snatch it should all be real. Snatch told us that. Yes. Um, but no, was, that was, was a like, weird oh, part. Right, too. That was odd. That's the scene you're talking about where he like crawls up. I think that was a pump or something because yes. something I mean, leaks, water leaks onto him or something leaks onto him. Well, that could even there. just be condensation yeah. like an AC would have. Like it's a generator or yeah. a pump. Or, yeah, whatever it is. But the door's like flapping open and shut. There's a whole like pack of boars, but they're like normal ones. But they're yeah. like but they're like the most terrifying thing in the world. Well, they're and like <laughs> super like intelligent boars because yes. at one point our main knock character over the tower. was yeah. on a tower and like they... They ate the bolt or, or, or knocked it enough that it, like, it falls and he goes into the water. Uh, any other direction, he'd be dead. Uh, but he goes into the water. And this was the biggest jump scare scene for me was like a boar's head just <laughs> popped out of the water. Yeah. So like I was waiting for like a crocodile or something. Because sure. I, I was like, oh, they're in Australia. Uh, Probably some other animal. That's a yeah. thing. And I'm picturing like, you know how like that, that terrifying slow jump they do? And I'm, I'm just waiting for it to happen. And then just the head pops out. I'm like... What was holding that down? Or was that? What's, what's that? Like, no. what ate that head? How did no. we get here? They have established that, <laughs> that the boars are cannibalizing each other in this yes, time period. Yes, they do mention that. And that this whole scene, though, is supposed to show, like, ah, you can't swim. As if that's going to come into play when he yeah, beats the yeah. big boar later. And well, like, I wanted, ah, it? idiots, you can't swim, crocodile, and, then, and he has to get out of the water immediately. Exactly, exactly. Or like now he's hiding, but he's trapped in there because there's something else in the yeah, water, yeah. Like, a, like a venomous snake or a crocodile something. or whatever. Yeah, know. it would have been nice to see him trapped yeah. like in the structure of it. Like he's yes. like, ah. And he is. He's like sitting there for a while. And he's yeah. like, F this. This is awful or something like that. But it honestly, is. like if they had set up where he was like, I'm a modern New Yorker. I can probably just go tell them what's up and they'll fix everything. You know, this is ridiculous. I want to talk, I want to speak to your manager. And then he got like shat on and dragged through, you know, through the outback and it uh -huh. was awful as if that was going to change his character and make him learn something. But they don't yeah. really do that. Maybe the scene of him with like the Norelco electric shaver was meant to imply that he's like a city slicker and now he's learning how to be like a tough guy, but no, I don't think so. No, or it wasn't I enough. No, exactly do that for me. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I wonder. And, uh, it's hard to say. <laughs> so we'll get down. There's, there's other stuff. Who cares? Do they kiss? No, they don't kiss. Uh, yeah. The ending. Uh -huh. So now we get finally to the... Oh, real quick. An another moment of humor, which was very out of place to me, when they all pounce on like the little boar, because that's the other one that yes. she put the tracker and, on. Like, she's, she works this job, and yeah. like, that, like, there's, so A, she's only tagged one other boar ever, Ever, seems, apparently? And yes. can't tell the difference between them. Like, the tags don't have IDs or, or something. Yeah. Sure. Like weird old computer looking screen to show who's tagged and follow them. I like them. that. I liked how like, oh, it just moves. You need to put the overlays to know like where they are on the oh, map. Oh, God. Like, how does that work? I didn't, th I didn't catch that part and I love it. I, okay. I, I thought it was great. I, I, I don't it. understand how it works at all, but I like sure. it. Totes. No, I don't. Uh, that, that whole flow though too was another like weird... Like, I'm not sure why that, that's in there because, like, she's, like, rallying the troops and, and, and they're all at the bar, like, yay. Then, then we see them pouncing on the little boar yeah. and it's played for comedy. And then later they're, they're, they're all back at the bar somehow already, but it's still the same day. And mm -hmm. then she's calling them, like, no, 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 this time I got it. And, 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 like, it's been a long day, love. We're doing drinking. And, like, they're, like, fuck you or whatever, right? Yeah. Just you, to, like... You, you cried wolf too many times. But, like, why, why do we even need to explain why they aren't there? We, we never had to talk to them ever again. This is hard. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hate that part. Like, I'm like, because you, you probably would have been like, why didn't they call them again? Why did she go up there why alone? Why didn't they call you know? these people? Yeah. I mean, the whole thing. Why I called them the first time? Why even do this? I don't know. Uh, to something. pay off something with a tracker. You had to have something reason. Like, you know, I guess you could have not had her yeah. tag the other one, not blah, 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 blah. That was a nice moment. Never though. used it. Like, because you had to eventually get an explanation for the how he shot it with a tracker gun. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Um, that was a weird scene, too, where it's like 
frantically cutting between like the scoped shot of of the boar and the wide shot of the boar and and the and the tight shot of his face as he's doing Little stuff bits of meat shooting off back and forth and he's shooting yeah and it's crazy back and forth and then he finally I I couldn't tell he even hit it with with the with the tracker he's shooting it and it's like oh, mostly over the hill and I, yeah I wasn't I, I didn't see it like land and I'm like what was happening here and I'm like we got him and I'm like, okay I think there was something with the accent of when they described that gun in the first place yeah I thought she said trank gun not track gun she said dart gun i believe yeah whatever I just, I, just, I just assumed it was a uh yeah. a tranquilizer dart and not a uh, tracking dart yeah because it seemed like when the, the little pig got it it was a thing on the ear like a clamped bit I know. so i had no reason to believe those are the same thing yeah and like why would you be able to shoot it with something that would like stay in it it's like moving and would like jostle it to come out i don't know whatever um yeah Eventually, we finally get to the end. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's the canning factory. He's already brought one of the men to justice. It's time for the showdown. Yeah. The beast shows up. Beast, beast does show up. We finally get a good look at it. We get yeah. close-ups of snarling, and it's, and it's wet, and it's teeth it has, and has stuff. It has good, like, movement yeah. of, of pieces. There's, like, a lot of little bits in here. There's one shot, uh, I think only one shot, of like the eye and like it's like a really good eye and you see like it, like like pupil focus. Oh yeah. And I'm like, oh that wow, I, that's really great. good hair articulation of the eyes. Yeah. It's like looking because it because that's your moment to be like, oh he like the boar's thinking of like what to do because mm -hmm. the guys climbed the scaffolding I think by that point. Yes. And he's kind of like, oh, so he starts like ramming the thing or whatever. Yeah. It's this awesome thing. Yeah. 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 He's, he's a large ass boar. Like. Yeah, he's a large ass boar. large. And you get these like. Like, cause like they can't show it like in full, you know, like, like, like. Yeah, it's a if, lot of obscure If you're going to show Kermit's legs, you got to set that up so that they're not doing that. But, but they're showing like side angle shots of it, like breaking through stuff. Yeah. And like, it's like cramped and tight and messy and stuff. And you're big seeing tusks. big things. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, and bursting like through walls with the tusks and this and that. Yeah. And a lot of callbacks, a lot of stuff. Because uh, he does get him from below with the spear, he kind of wedges it right, and they, yeah. then when he jumps on him. It's in him. I love the boar freaking out about it and like coughing up blood into his face, and he's like, "Oh, this uh -huh. is horrible. This is awful." And then it like not being dead. Because I was like, "Is that it? Is that how, is that yeah. how you're gonna kill yeah, it or whatever?" Wasn't dead. He eventually, then he tricks it like the back of the box says. Uh, what is the, the oh, exact no, does line it? of the back of the box? It, it says. Uh, uh, he confronts the monstrous creature while a conveyor belt inches man and beast toward razor sharp blades that will make pet food out of one or both. That is the ending. Damn right, it's yeah, that, on is, the box. that is the ending. That sucks. Um, so th they show that because he's uh, when he's fighting one of the mutants. Yeah, the guy swings in on, on the bot, on the, and on he's the pork on, on the pig. Yeah, and like he's on a conveyor belt inching towards the, the swirling blades of death, uh -huh. and now the boar is too. So he has to do like a predator, like kill me, I'm right here, do it now. And then the boar, do it, do it, do it get me, come on! And he like the, like he jumps or like he goes for it. Then they have to cut out a part that they can't even show of it walking into of it the blade, into yeah. it because Chris when, when, when they cut back it. It looks like a dog is like sitting in, in like the washing machine. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like in there, like going dead. So weird. I'm like, okay, well, Agreed. still good. Good try, guys. Good times. There, yeah. there, there's enough cool shots in this ending sequence that, that it, this it, felt it, like it was, it was fine. The good but thing. yeah, that yeah. far, I was, I was like, that oh, was you funny. Kind of made me. a noise and cut and uh, like followed his swing into a. And Something. then you could have cut back and it would have made a little more sense. Maybe. There was a way to do that. They didn't do it exactly Maybe it goes right. back to the editing again. Yeah, something yeah. about in, in, in certain... It like, could have been coverage problems. In certain critical moments, I feel like they kind of didn't have what they needed and they were like, oh, I don't know, make it work, guys. Yeah. Some weird, yeah. Um, my, so when you first, just to cut way back yeah, now, yeah. when you first see the boar, really, okay. uh, it's it's in the window of the passion of, of the, oh, the yeah. passenger side of when the it, car. When it attacks the, the, when the it, reporter. When it attacks the reporter. And like, so, so like... It somehow the lights catch it and like she can see right through because it's dark so you wouldn't necessarily yeah. see perfectly but there's a light on it maybe right. from the from the lights of the other car I forget exactly the turn of events that that unfold on yeah. this but she's like in the car and like to the side you look and it's just like right there it's the full size of the window it is gigantic yeah. and she like doesn't react almost at all <laughs> like I, I, it made me like think like like when you're driving. And you're at a red light, and like someone like knocks in a window, like you want to donate change to the blah She's blah, like, and you're like, ah! <laughs> like that's like any unexpected thing in your window is scary as I, shit. I, I took it the opposite way, where, where you were like, she was like, don't make eye contact, he'll go away. Leave him oh, alone. Well, there's that too, but that's only if you that saw thing? them ahead of time. Yes. If you never saw them and just a knock happened, they're suddenly there. You're startled. 
Exactly. Uh, yeah, she she had like no reaction at all. This is and a then, tough like, moment too. Cause Gores she... rips the door off yeah. and like pulls that bitch out. Like, you're like, oh shit. Well, she's just had this run in with these crazy people, so yeah. she, she should be hyped up to like react. Super hyped. Yeah. That. That's what I mean by like certain shots didn't feel like they were in the right order or mm. in the right place or something. But like, like that. from yeah. the very first look, because like we did see it with the old man early on. We saw like flashes of it, but not really a good shot. They kept building when you, up. When you yeah. first saw its face, I was like, I was like, all right, yeah, this is some shit. No, no, no big time. A good pig. I don't want to sell that short. I had a lot of problems with, with the movie, like as a movie or something like no, that. Agreed, agreed. But as a like, you know, most of my thing, like recommendation yeah. for this is just yeah. like there are some cool bits. There's some cool like where you're like, like what, what kind of world is this yeah. that you've established here? <laughs> what, what are the rules of this world? It's just it's just interesting stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then of course just the, the effects here, like from like you know buildings getting ripped apart uh, to like this just gigantic pig. Where you're like, that's yeah. that's pretty cool. I'd like to know more about the. Uh, I didn't actually look to see if there was any behind the scenes features. Of course not. Yeah, like multiple, well, because it's so old, I weren't yeah. doing that enough then. But I wonder, like, if there was a commentary for this, I'd be super into it, like something like that or something. I, I would like to see more of the operating of that rig and okay. how that exactly worked and yeah. what that would have gone into as to why certain shots were the way they are. Because I picture yeah. it's probably just on some sort of a rolling dolly thing. Like, right. They were just maybe <laughs> with wagon wheels so it can yeah. be outside. I'd say multiple guys just pushing it. And, yeah. then, and then, like, the camera frames it, like, like above the wheels, and it's just mm -hmm. it, ah, going. No, and, like, it doesn't look like that makes it sound, like it's crappy or something like that. It looks, it, it No, it, it has it, a really it, it, like, nice works. feel. I, I, yeah. I, I super appreciate Big time. and like this kind of effect. Yeah. Um, another dumb thing that I just thought of is, is that the, uh, the second mutant guy is, like, running through, like, some sort of a, like a, a, a drainage ditch, maybe. And, like, he's like, let me put my headphones on real quick. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like, stuff what like is that. What is idiots putting their headphones on? I thought of that, too, yeah. Does he want, like, good music to die to? Because that's what happens. No, it was weird. That's what, I, that's what I meant. Like, even that, you're like, why would he put his headphones on? Was this originally a shot where he was, like, minding his own business and then the board like, came up on him? Like, did we have to fix something or change something? It makes no sense. I could see, like, hitting play, cranking the volume and throwing the headphones yeah, to try to, like, get them to like go that. the other direction. But I'm like, you're in a straight line no, ditch. No, no one. We can't even give them that much credit or whatever. No. Um, but my, like, like for this third act or third and a half act, I, I, I have all caps, finally some great shots of the Razorback. That's like yeah, my thing. I'm like, here like we are. 90% of the all the Razorback shots yeah. are in that last This, like, bit, uh, this yeah. sequence. And, and, like, when it rams the scaffolding and, like, it, like, falls or whatever, right? Like, as a film to, to like, a certain degree, mm -hmm. like, that's a callback to when he was on the, the like, 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 the little tower, right? Uh -huh. And, like, in both of those cases, there was really a tower. It really had to fall. There was yeah, really yeah, a guy no, on it, right? Because that's the appreciation. That, the 80s we get where into, I'm, right. like, I'm like, no, yeah. real things are happening in this movie, like actual yeah. actual effects, real sets, cool shit. And that's that's mostly the recommendation here is that yeah. the, the plot is a little loose, but it's it's weird where it's 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 loose and long. Oh, like, it's, it's like loose and slow. Yeah. <laughs> Not unlike your mom. <laughs> but it gets it gets pretty good. There, no, like I think that it's worth checking out like for those reasons that we're talking mm -hmm. about the whole thing like that, right? Like it doesn't have the sci-fi movie thing where there's people hanging from something and then it cuts to like the other side and you're like, oh, I guess that's supposed to be the elevator shaft. Like I don't know what I'm looking at here because yeah. it's all really there. You're like, no, okay, yeah, this is the, the beauty of like, like things work. Like he's hanging from a falling scaffolding yeah. and, and there's like a pig with his mouth like ready <laughs> like jaws to catch that motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, any, any last? Uh, no. Words like or again, words? like I'm not heartbroken. I'm not like, oh, this was a waste of time. I'm, I'm glad that I checked it out. It's so weird, but it's not weird enough that I'm like, I'm like obsessed with it now. Uh -huh. um, but it's just another one of those movies. It's definitely I guess, like right? this yeah. was from a different time of the creature feature. Like creature features kind of devolved into a very simple mm. path where it was like, okay, you have your cast of kooky characters, fish out of watering with a giant monster. Right. The stoner. And, and you didn't the really hot have girl. The large group here. So yeah. there was. It almost suffered a little bit from the Jurassic Park 3 problem where there weren't enough things to die. Mm. So, like, your bad guy really couldn't build up a kill count because there was no cast. Yeah. Like, who could, like you know, who could die? Uh, they did. Um, and, and that's yeah. everybody. Like, it didn't feel linear enough either. Like, you want to want to escalate and build it up, a uh, la Tremors or other creature features like, or whatever. it could have been nice if yeah. the phone call for the group actually did work. They got there, and they started just murking fucking well, drunks. Budgetary concerns, I understand. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah, But, yes, like, if if that guy who had his house torn apart, like, if this was all in, like, the right sequence where it was building up this like whole thing of how dangerous mm. this thing is and all that stuff. And if you had like a real arc for the husband character to really like like you know insert and then pay off some yeah. stuff or whatever, right? Because as it stands, it like 
it almost feels like, yeah, we were just trying to get to that fun end part. And it's like, why did we spend so much time in the middle then? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, so... Because filming <laughs> in, in, like, the middle of the outback of Australia yeah. can't be easy. Right. So, like, it's weird to, to invest so much time and, I'm sure, money and effort into those scenes... Yeah. For little payback on your effort. Right. It seems like you should have gone full. Like, I, I would be obsessed with this movie if it had a spirit journey and was really pretentious in the middle and some weird thing where, like, he knows the spirit of the pigs or something and the evil has come out of that the outback so part thing. I know that. But, like, that would be something. There's just, like, nothing where that yeah. should be. And uh, and, it, and if you're not going to do that, do, like, something else or whatever, right? I just kept wondering. I'm like, how hot must it have been? So like, hot. So I gross. I just film canisters just exploding. <laughs> just like, suddenly like, exploding. Yeah, yeah. I too would like to know more about the production. Had a couple of real songs in the movie too. Oh, um, like I, I can't remember what they were, okay. but on par where it was like, it's like, oh, that's a song by like Elton John, or like it was like a real name, like, and it only had like that. three songs in the whole movie, right? And like two of them were like real, and I was, I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, like like a fascinating thing. Not worthless, not amazing, but a fascinating yeah. like like it comes, entry. It comes in that in where it's like it's like. It's like, you know, there's thumbs up, there's thumbs down, there's like, like, worth checking out. Yes. Where it's like, that's kind of in between the thumbs, <laughs> but like, fans. has, has a, a place. We say fans of the genre will yeah. enjoy this, this, uh, you know, entry if, you know, if it's something you've missed. Definitely. Something like that. All right, guys, I think that's it for this, uh, this review of Razorback. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, internets. I just love watching Just Daggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, Click that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, peace out, homies.